Hey, Mandy Maniacs. Hi, everybody. We are back with another pumpkin spice review for you. And I know you guys love the coffee review. And here comes another one. One that she's all excited about. So we'll I see. This is the review I've been so excited to do. This is the product I'm most excited for of all. The Black Rifle Headless Horseman Pumpkin Spice Roast. I love Black Rifle, so the fact that they have a Headless Horseman Pumpkin Spice is amazing. And I wanted the cake up so bad, but nowhere had them. So we got the like ground coffee, and honestly, I'm not really sure what to do with that. But the other day when she was at the store with the kiddo, they found this one. So I am so excited to try it. And we also, she had bought the loose coffee, um, the ground coffee. So then we're going to, we actually went out and got a coffee maker <laughs> so that we could make it. And now that we got the coffee maker, then we're like, oh, we should have a coffee bar. So that had a review on that coming up. Too. Oh, yeah, kind of compare cake yes. cup versus the, what do you call ground? Fresh ground. Yeah. Right, exactly. So That's a good idea. So, here we go. You use cream in yours. I do. I didn't put it um, in yet. If you guys want to see the all-natural, it's a very dark black. So, my expectations for this being true to form black rifle really strong, I'm thinking it's going to be. Oh, yeah, I smell pumpkin, pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice, yep. I do too. Okay, now I have high hopes because their hazelnut was pretty bad. I like that. It's got, it's got, like they said, pumpkin spice. It's good. Mm-hmm. And I'm not a black coffee drinker, but I thought I had to try a sip of it, you know, on, um, mm. I don't know the word, on fretted something. Untethered? <laughs> Unfettered? <laughs> Fetterman? There you go. <laughs> yeah. I want him near my coffee cup. <laughs> so. Yep, that's nice. It still shows in that? I, I'm getting a hint of pumpkin spice. Oh, most that. definitely. It's definitely, you can tell it's pumpkin spice. It's it's a good, bold wow. cup of coffee. Keeping true with the, the Black Rifle. So far, we've only really been disappointed and i would say the hazelnut it was still a delicious cup of coffee and very bold the problem was there was no hazelnut not in the scent not in the flavor so i'm like if you're gonna say you're a flavor have that flavor right it wasn't a very strong flavor founders fathers took them on that one Founders yeah fathers. so it was very very good i would say oh what do you think this this is the thing i was so excited about so black rifle pumpkin spice versus the other titan starbucks pumpkin spice which one i haven't had the yeah you have well i had the starbucks one i know we taste tested that one but i don't even good. remember it i had tried so many pumpkin spice things oh. that i'm pretty well pumpkin spiced out here pretty much <laughs> so but this is good coffee really really Amazing. good it smells great tastes great has that pumpkin taste. This one is stronger than Starbucks's pumpkin is spice. It? It's a stronger cup of coffee. Um, I would say for the pumpkin flavor coming through. Gosh, that's hard. They're neck and neck. Mm -hmm. yeah. but in terms of, I would say, quality coffee, like boldness, I would have to say I'd pick these guys. Yeah, they're good. These guys mm -hmm. are a better cup of coffee than Starbucks. Because now apples to apples, I will say Black Rifle beats them. Yeah. And to me, Starbucks only has one ground that's like next level, and that's their pumpkin spice. Whereas these guys, so far, everything's been that. Yeah. they Black Rifle has impressed us from the beginning. They're great, great coffee. And this, like, I love their, um, gosh, what is wrong with me today? I'm having... What? Play on words? What? Like their uh, artwork on the box. Oh, yes. Yep. Yes. That is amazing. Light is yeah. Amazing. That looks so good. And they have good messages and... Yeah. So... I love it. Yeah. It's good cup coffee. The one thing I don't recommend them having is in huge letters, artificially flavored. Nothing make, sounds delicious oh. when you throw that on the box. <laughs> well... It's, it's fake. It's like, oh. But how would you... 
How would well, you add? All, all of them are artificially flavored, but maybe don't have that your biggest big thing. Well, yeah. they're being straight up. I guess honesty. Yeah, yeah that's the best. And I think, um, yeah, because how would you put pumpkin in coffee? Oh, you can't. Starbucks is also artificially flavored, but they have it in small print in the back. Oh. They don't have it like <laughs> blasted on the front cover. Yeah, but that delicious. Is good. So, what are you gonna say? That is amazing. Five stars, like, yeah. beyond. I love yeah. it. I thought, honestly, it would let me down. Because, you know, when you're so excited about something, it can never live up to the hype. That's uh, true. Unless, you know, it's Beetlejuice. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> this is Beetlejuice, you know. It's like, I had high expectations, <laughs> and it knocked them out of the park. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm, I'm going to give it a five as well. It's good cup of coffee. No oh, doubt. Yeah. I like so, that. If you... Uh, we'll be trying the ground coffee later on to see how that is different. If it's a bolder flavor, God, I don't know how it can be any more <laughs> bold, or you know <laughs> how how different that is. But yeah, it's it's good, and yeah. I recommend it. And hopefully, you can find it in the K cups like we did. That was exciting. Where oh, did Walmart. you guys find it at again? Um, Walmart. A Walmart in a different town. Okay, we didn't have it in our town, so it was a different town and. Oh, nice. Your daughter had said, wow, mom's going to be so excited. I oh, found the cake. I was, I was pumped. <laughs> so that was her big surprise for the day was to was show excited. her mom. I was excited. I was like, yes. Cake ups. It was like the one I was so excited about. Yeah. Mind you, we drove like an hour <laughs> to get the black rifle ground and we didn't know it was ground. We thought it was cake ups and we got it and we're like, oh, maybe they don't make a cake up. And then you guys found it. That was pretty exciting. It. Yes. So... With pumpkin spice season probably closing in on the end here shortly. Stock up. Stock up. You guys can. You know why? It says it keeps till November 15th of next year. So that'll stock up so it gets you through to next year when they're selling it again. <laughs> and then you're... That's right. That's Unless you're tired of pumpkin spice and you're ready for just give me a plain old cup of coffee. Oh, I could never get tired of pumpkin spice. And I no, will say couldn't. like the flavor in this is there. It's pumpkin spice. But it's a very... Like gentle yes. pumpkin spice. Even if you're like, oh, pumpkin spice. This one would still, I think, be for you. Because it's very subtle. It's not like, usually I like punch you in the face, pumpkin spice. Kind of, you know, just mm -hmm. really. But this is good, but also not overpowering. Right. Right. So, there you go. It's a great, great cup of coffee. Great coffee. Thank you. <laughs> Have an awesome day or night, wherever you guys are. And keep on creeping. Bye.